Now tomorrow, the 16th of October, is World Restart a Heart Day. It is all about raising awareness of CPR and what you could do to potentially save someone's life. Here to tell us all about it are Matt and Leisha from St John Ambulance. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Really lovely to have you in the studio. This is so important. Uh, Matt, what, why is St John such a strong supporter of Restart a Heart Day? Look, uh, you know, 2,000 people in uh, New Zealand are suffering sudden cardiac arrest a year, uh, and unfortunately only one in 10 of those survive. Um, we know that that's a stat that we can, uh, we can desperately improve um, through good by early uh, bystander CPR and access to AEDs. Yes, oh, it's so important. It really, really is. Um, so, Alicia, what kind of difference can that early intervention actually make? Well, I've been to a few, like a lot of resources, um, and it's family members or bystanders have actually started early compressions, mm. um, which is really great because those early compressions can help improve a patient's life of chance of survival by like more than 50%. So if you fall down, uh, it's a sudden, like a sudden cardiac arrest, if someone is there to straight away start that CPR, you, it's really yeah, it's yeah. the matter between life and death, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. Absolutely. So um, we, you know, we're seeing more and more AEDs in, in the public access areas. Um, and, and they're amazing machines. They, they'll talk you through the entire process yeah. uh, as a bystander. Um, and, and we know if we can get those early uh, those AEDs to patients nice and early, get some great early CPR done, uh, we can improve patients' chances of survival by more than double. So when you say AED, what are we talking about there? So an automated external defibrillator, one of those little little shock boxes you'll see on the walls at the gym or the supermarket. You do see them around actually, Absolutely. and they sort of give you a little bit of peace of mind. Uh, so people who go through St John first aid training, they also learn about using these defibrillators too don't they? Why is that? Yeah, that's right. Um, we, they're learning about those because they're so easy to use. They're, um, they're everywhere now, you're seeing in the supermarkets yeah. and, and, the, um, and the malls and things. Uh, and they're nice. Um, they talk you through the entire process as a, as a bystander. Um, and we know if we can get great early bystander CPR in uh, and get that AED on a patient nice and quickly, um, those patients' chances of survival are more than doubling. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Making yeah. sure that people survive. So, Alicia, can anyone use an AED or...? Yeah, I reckon anyone over the age of 15 can easily use an AED that's untrained. Mm -hmm. But we do recommend that you do learn how to use an AED so you get that confidence that first aid training can give you. Yeah, it's that peace of mind, isn't it, knowing that if something does happen around you, you can help because there's nothing worse, I think, than being a bystander and not being able to know yeah. what to do. That would be awful. Yeah, exactly. So we've got these paid um, first responder courses that you can do and also you can go on our website mm -hmm. and sign up for these free three steps to life training courses. And that's super important. So Matt, tell me about this a Good Sam on your phone. Is it handy to have Good Sam on your phone? Yeah, absolutely. Good Sam's a great app. It's, um, it's a, a, a new app that um, has been introduced in recently uh, and it allows uh, registered members of, of the public who, who know first aid or know CPR mm. especially, um, emergency service personnel and, and um, other medical professionals to sign up to it uh, and they get alerted of um, to uh, cardiac arrests in their local area. It's all integrated with our 111 call system um, and dispatch system. Um, mm. So they get alerted to these uh, cases of cardiac arrest and they can respond to them in the nearest, you know, in the area. Uh, and see where AEDs are around them as well to use. So is that just for uh, experts or like if I'd done a CPR course, would I have it on my phone as well so I could be alerted? Yeah, yep, definitely. If you have tra been trained in mm -hmm. CPR, you can register on the Good Sam app and it will just alert anyone um, that is having a cardiac arrest around you so you can go and help them. So you could maybe get there even before you guys do? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. That's kind of, I think that's the point of it. Absolutely. Which is going to increase, yep. like, that's a really great idea. What a good app. Yeah. So, Alicia, what's St John doing on Restart a Heart Day? Well, we've actually made this pretty fun little video. It's on social media currently, I think. Um, it's about someone who actually has a cardiac arrest and we've involved all the emergency partners in it. Um, we've tried to make it a bit fun to get across a serious message. Yeah. We've also got around Auckland and Christchurch airports on the 16th of October. At 9 o'clock in the morning we'll be having events there, public events for people, um, where you can actually do CPR competitions and there'll be giveaways. Mm. Um, we're also hosting events at schools and different town halls around New Zealand as well, just to promote Restart a Heart Day and it would be awesome if any other workplace could do it as well. Um, there's also another thing for just the general public, um, if you could just go and be aware of your nearest AED in public or your workplace and take a photo of it, hashtag 
restart a heart <laughs> and um, just so that we know that you're just trying to be aware of it. That is cool. Yeah. Um, that song that we just saw and that heard in that video then, um, Staying Alive, does that actually, do you actually do the compressions to that song or is that like a old uh, wife's Lisa tale? probably dances to it in her head um, <laughs> you know, when she's practising but yeah, yes. yeah, absolutely it's, it's a great tune to, it's the to right, keep it's the, the rhythm. It's the right beat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well it's such an important thing that everyone can do and absolutely. try and save a life. Hey, thank you both very much for coming no, in today. Thanks Mel, thank thanks you. for having us. Now for more information on Restart a Heart Day you can go to restartaheart.co.nz.